Well, I'm going to tell you a rather strange story. Uh, yesterday was the funeral of my sister-in-law, Valerie, my brother's wife. Uh, she'd been sick for a long time, so it wasn't really unexpected. And the funeral was at the crematorium in Carlisle, and the reception was in a, an hotel, a nearby hotel. The problem with getting to the hotel was that although it was on the main road, you couldn't go in directly, you had to go right round the back. So I followed my nephew Michael round, and uh, we got to the reception. Uh, now I was accompanied by my cousin Moira, who had a train to catch, so we had to leave slightly earlier than most people. And I asked Michael directions for the station, because I wasn't just familiar with exactly where we were. And he gave me them, but I, uh, I found it very hard to... Well, anyway, to cut a long story short, we got in the car, we went down, we came to a roundabout, and I said to Moira, which way do you think we should go? And she said, let's go left. So we went left, and I said, what, what was that road sign say? She said, it said St. James's Road. I said, I know where we are. When I was a young boy, we used to go to Carlisle quite a lot, and we used to visit uh, two sets of cousins in St. James's Road. And as we drove along, I said to Moira, that was your house. And then I realised I'd made a mistake because Moira never lived in the house. It was her mother and father lived in the house, but um, her mother died giving Moira birth. Um, so the, after that they moved. So Moira was born in 1942, which makes these memories quite old, put it that way. As we drove along I said, that's where the bells used to stay, in there. And I remembered during the war they'd cut off the railings to take away to make bombs and things like that and I as a very young boy I must have been I must have been under six and anyway, six uh, I ran along this and I fell and I, my leg caught on the sticking up bit of the metal and I cut it quite badly I got stitches in it uh, so that was an event but anyway as we came to the end of the road I said this is Nelson Street I, I, when the bells moved from St James's Road, they moved further down Nelson Street, and I remembered going to the house quite often. And uh, then, as we got to the bottom, we came to what they know as in Carlisle as Denton Home, and I said, "This is where Auntie Lily used to live." And uh, right enough, it was. So from there on, it was quite a simple journey to the station, uh, and Moira caught a train. But really, that's uh, quite an extraordinary course of events, uh, and you know. Although I hadn't been there for, what, 75 years, uh, I remembered exactly where I was and what had happened. I could tell you more stories about that, but I've gone on long enough.